With age, skin loses its elasticity and firmness, leaving visible fine lines, wrinkles, and sagging skin. At DSM, we have developed new ways to counteract those visible signs of aging. Let's dive into the skin's structure to look at some of the key mechanisms that influence skin aging. Beneath the epidermis, the dermal layer of the skin contains a complex matrix of proteins, proteoglycans, and polysaccharides that make up the so-called extracellular matrix. Fibroblasts, which are the main cells in the dermal layer, produce major building blocks of the extracellular matrix, such as collagens, hyaluronin, and other components that play an important role in the skin's overall structural integrity. As we get older, and particularly if the skin is exposed to environmental factors such as UV light, the levels of these supportive matrix molecules in the skin decreases. The result? The surface of the skin appears more wrinkled and aged. Let's move back into the skin to see how these supportive molecules are made. TGF-beta is an important endogenous skin molecule due to its key role in the synthesis of collagen and other matrix components. TGF-beta, seen here in its latent state, prompts fibroblasts to make these structural elements. A protein called thrombospondin-1, which also occurs naturally in the skin, activates TGF-beta. Once activated, TGF-beta can bind to TGF-beta receptors on the surface of fibroblasts. Over time, the activity of thrombospondin-1 in the skin is reduced. This in turn means that fewer active TGF-beta molecules are present and that fibroblasts in the skin produce less collagen and other matrix components, leading to wrinkle formation. At DSM, we have found that mimicking natural thrombospondin-1 activity within skin is a new and promising strategy for the next generation of powerful anti-aging solutions. DSM Syncol was the first synthetic latent TGF-beta activator introduced to the cosmetic industry. The structure of Syncol resembles the active region of thrombospondin-1 meaning that Syncol can mimic the larger protein's action on latent TGF-beta. Let's see how Syncol can boost TGF-beta activity even when thrombospondin-1 levels are low. Thanks to its structure, Syncol helps to activate latent TGF-beta. With increased levels of active TGF-beta now present, the fibroblasts can be stimulated to produce matrix components. This innovative mechanism made Syncol the first TGF beta booster on the market. Syncol stimulates collagen production, leaving the skin looking visibly smoother and younger.